like to introduce with pride my fellow fiction, from my fiction cohort, as you all say, Christopher Monk, a 12, uh, 2012 fellow in fiction. <laughs> I will be reading an excerpt from a piece that uh, I have had a uh, workshop this week. Um, it's called All I Want for Christmas. I was sullenly sipping on my second drink when the door to the bar flew open and Jesus, dressed in a long white post-resurrection robe, burst in. He raised his arms in benediction, raised his eyes to heaven, and shouted in a clear, commanding voice, it's my motherfucking birthday, bitches! <laughs> What? <laughs> the door swung open again, and Santas began pouring into the bar. Ten, twenty, fifty of the jolly old elves, spreading out like a SWAT team across the bar. <laughs> All of them are ho-ho-hoing, drowning out poor Joe Strummer with their deafening yuletide guffaws. The fuck? <laughs> had the acid I had partaken of in my misspent youth come back for a visit, just to say happy holidays? Had the bartender a road-hard, aged biker babe slipped me a Mickey Finn. Was this actually happening? I looked around at the smattering of, of other customers to see if or how they were reacting to the onslaught of Santai. <laughs> <laughs> they were disturbingly nonchalant, chatting with the Kris Kringles as if, this, as if this happened every day. I started drinking fast. <laughs> I needed to get out of there. I was in no mood to be an unwitting actor in a David Lynch Christmas Carol. <laughs> but I didn't drink fast enough. The Santas were thirsty. <laughs> en masse, they approached the bar. A tidal wave of red velveteen, white fur, and bowls full of jelly. <laughs> Within seconds, I was engulfed. I shrank into my bar stool, tried to make myself as inconspicuous as possible. Around me, Santas called out for beer and whiskey their cheeks rosy, eyes shining. They clinked glasses with each other, threw their red-hatted ha red heads back, and took shot after shot. Beer dribbled down their beards. The last microscopic shred of my childhood innocence threw itself off a cliff in protest. <laughs> I turned around to my bar stool, looking for a hole in the wall of Santas I might escape through, and accidentally met the eyes of the Santa behind me. He had a green velvet bag slung over his shoulder. He smiled at me. I spun back around in my bar stool and stared into my drink. Then I felt a hand on my shoulder. Hello there, little boy. <laughs> a deep, merry voice said. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Shitty shit shit. I should just ignore him. But how could I ignore Santa? <laughs> and his hand was still on my shoulder. Shit. I turned around slowly. Hi? I said noncommittally, looking down at the hand on my shoulder. There were no liver spots, no wrinkles, no parchment-like skin. His hand looked young, strong, the hair on his arm dark. You aren't so little now, are you? Sam said. He paused. In fact, I bet you're a pretty big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did Santa just make a penis reference? Was Santa hitting on me? I looked around to see if anyone else was seeing this. The other Santas were too absorbed in their own debauchery to notice, shouting drink orders and making lewd gestures at the bartender. I looked up at Santa's face. The only part that wasn't obscured by his hat and beard were his eyes. They were mahogany color, the lashes darker and thick. He was smiling down at me. Despite the surreal situation, despite the fact that a part of myself was telling me to knock his hand off my shoulder, to call him a fucking queer and pa push past him and storm out the bar, I found myself smiling back instead. So, Santa asked, have you been naughty or nice? <laughs> I shrugged. You're supposed to have a list. You tell me. 